The US and several allies have condemned Myanmar's military for disbanding dozens of political parties. Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy was one of 40 parties to be dissolved on Tuesday over their failure to meet a deadline to register for an election. No date has been set for the polls, but they have already been widely condemned as a way for the junta to legitimize its seizure of power in a coup two years ago. Since 2021, a bloody crackdown on protests has given rise to an armed struggle against the junta, with more than one million people displaced by the fighting. The military says it's targeting terrorists and not civilians. Su Chi is currently serving a 33-year prison sentence on charges her allies say were trumped up to end her political career. Dozens of her colleagues are also in jail or have fled. U.S. State Department Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel. We strongly condemn the uh, Burma military regime's uh, decision to abolish 40 political parties, including, as you, you so noted, the National League for Democracy. Uh, any election without the participation of all stakeholders uh, in Burma uh, would not be and cannot be considered free or fair. And given the widespread opposition to military rule, the regime's unilateral push towards elections likely will escalate instability. A spokesperson for Myanmar's military could not immediately be reached for comment. Its leader on Monday urged international critics to get behind his efforts to restore democracy instead of siding with a resistance he calls terrorists. However, U.S. allies have echoed Washington's sentiment. Japan's foreign ministry has called for the immediate release of NLD officials, including Suu Kyi, while Britain and Australia expressed concern about a narrowing of the political space in the country.